our teams. We were uh, coming off uh, defending state runner-up championships for both teams, so we had great years last year, but um, obviously this is a different year, and we're looking forward to the challenges that come along with being the defending state runner-up. Um, obviously, you don't ever want to do worse than you did the year before, so we'd like to do just as well as we did last year, if not better. Uh, our women's team returns quite a few state scorers from last year's team and um, in, a, in a very large senior class. They're going to be a, should be a strong team and should be a fun team to watch over the course of the year and, sh and should be a really uh, a fun team to coach because they're going to, they're going to be very strong and the training has been outstanding. They've just been, they're durable, they're, they're injury free pretty much and uh, they're just a really, a really good group to coach. They work super hard. I, I almost have trouble challenging them in the workouts because they, uh, they work so hard. The men's team is a little different because uh, we, we lost 15 seniors. That's a huge senior class for anybody and, uh, and it was extremely huge for us in the sport of swimming. We've never had a class that large and so it was a big, big deal for us to lose a class that big. We uh, returned one senior that has swam for us at the varsity level. So a little bit different uh, setup this year. We have a team that's going to be young and that's going to grow as the season goes on. I'm really, really, really excited to see where they're going to grow um, because they're very talented, but they're very young. So we're going to see what happens there because some of the guys are going to swim some events they've never swam before competitively, and some of the guys are going to swim some events that they maybe aren't their strongest events. So we're going to have a lot of fun seeing them progress and change as the season goes on. One team, the women's team, will be strong and and should be pretty powerful throughout the year. The men's team will be like a, an, an, an ever-changing unit because they'll, be getting, they'll, be, they'll look one way at the beginning of the year and they'll look very different at the end of the year. Well, you know, you lose kids every year and, and we've been real fortunate to lose kids to the D1 level and the D2 and D3 levels as well. And, um, and, and those kids stay in the sport so they, they, they somewhat uh, maintain a relationship with, with the current group. So the past group helps maintain the current group and um, and that's one way you deal with it but you know you really just have to um, like it, like okay it's it's very different with the girls team the nurturing process it just trickles down from year to year and this senior group is an outstanding group of leaders so they learned it from the previous class and they'll teach it to the next class the men's the men's group is a little different because we kind of have a whole we have um, a, we had a very extremely large senior class and now we have a very small junior class that was coming behind it. The sophomore class that was behind that, this year's juniors, is very strong. As a matter of fact, we have two captains from the junior class this year, which is highly unusual for our team. We normally do not have any uh, junior captains. We're just usually a very senior dominant team. So, you know, it's just, it's a little different for each, you know. Those guys have had to do a little work and it's, uh, the, while the girls have just kind of not seemed to have missed a step, so to speak, the guys, it's been more of a nurturing process, an educational process. We spent more time out of the water with the guys uh, working on little things, uh, or not necessarily little things, but, but um, you know, one of the things that's unique about swimming is we're underwater. Our, our athletes are underwater, so they can't hear and they can't talk uh, while, they're, while they're working out in the set. So the communication and the team bonding and the team building process is a little unique. And so we've had to take the guys out of the water a little bit more you know, with uh, running in the weight room, ultimate frisbee, just things like that. We had to do a little more of that to help them uh, along with that process. But well, on the women's side, there is a, a very strong core group of seniors. I mean, it's a it is a dynamite group. Uh, multiple girls have scored at the state level multiple times. Girls that are top 25 academically in their class. Girls that are leaders in National Honor Society, Spanish Club, uh, Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Student advisor or student athletic council, principals advisory council. So there's just a lot of a lot of girls in, in that leadership and that know how to take on those leadership roles. And we, to be honest with you, this is kind of an aside, but we don't really do very well with the captain thing here because we expect all of our seniors to lead. So captain's a little bit of a struggle for us because every single senior should be leading as a captain. On the guys' side, while we do have two captains that are juniors, we do have three boys seniors. Only one has competed at the varsity level, but we have three senior boys. And they're all three of them are really good, solid leaders. It's just it's a little different coming from 15 guys that all had that group all had varsity level experience to this year with a group of only three guys and only one has varsity level experience. It's a little bit of a cliche, and I know it's kind of it may seem like a cop out, but 
Our expectation is always to compete at, our, at the very highest level possible. And you know, there's been years where we where we where we had a certain state placing, but we didn't feel like we we competed at the highest level possible. And there have been years that maybe people would have thought we might have been disappointed, but we knew that was the best effort we could get out of that team. So that that's our expectation. And you know, with the women, we kind of have an idea what that means. I mean, I think the women should be top two teams in the state, uh, top two or three. You know, um, the, the women are very strong. And um, you know, depending on how things go, they should be able to. They should be be very tough. And with the guys, we just don't know. I mean, we just. I mean, I, I, we have three guys coming back that made it to the state meet last year. Of those three guys, one scored at the state meet, and so that was Nathan Kenny. And he's very good, and he's very strong, and he's a tough kid. Um, but the other two guys haven't scored yet. And then the, you know, all these other guys, we don't know. We know they can score at the state level. We know they will score at the state level. We don't know what events. We don't know, we, I mean, we, there's just so many question marks. So, you know, with that group of guys, I mean, it's almost uh, somewhat of a two-year process because when you're, if, if, we get, if we're so lucky to be able to talk to you next year about our team, we'll, we'll almost be talking about the boys' team like we're talking about the girls' team this year. We'll really know a lot about the boys' team next year. But, you know, the other part of having 15 seniors is they lock up so many varsity spots, there's nowhere for the younger guys to come up and get into the lineup. So that's another thing. You know, we have guys that, you know, that, uh, that were varsity level swimmers that couldn't bust into the lineup because we had these 15 guys who really, I mean, of these 15 guys, I think, I think nine of them are swimming in college. You know, these guys were just a dynamite group. So, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's really going to be an interesting process with the guy. I, I think the guys' team is going to be some of the fun, most fun uh, coaching we've done here in a long time because it's just going to be an ever-evolving or, you know, process. I mean, it's just going to be different every week.